Hey guys, it's Brian Ernst with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. You deal direct with the owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this 2010 Heartland Sundance 3300 RLB fifth wheel. This is a triple slide, full profile four season fifth wheel full full profile it doesn't slope in the front so you have more headroom up in the bedroom area you do have the molded front fiberglass cap with LED lights mostly for show when you're camping nice little fiberglass cover cover over the steel pin box so you're not looking at a rusty pin box The Four Seasons I was talking about is the enclosed heated underbelly. And this camper is rated at zero degrees. You can't say that for most campers. So, so you can use this during the winter season if you wanted to. I did not find any damage. Uh, on the camper at all. I do, I do a visual inspection for any damage caused by road debris or scratches. Uh, check the decals. I do check it for delamination, which is the bubbling you get on the side walls. Uh, the only two things I found were just little waves in the fiberglass here. It's nothing big. Uh, if I didn't point it out, you probably wouldn't notice. And the other is a wave in the little wave in the fiberglass which is right here like I said if I didn't point it out to you you wouldn't even notice it so I'm pretty particular when I do the walk arounds and check for damage but uh, I don't think it's a big red flag but I think it was just the way it's manufactured I'm guessing all the decals are in great condition this is a high gloss fiberglass it is a aluminum frame sidewall construction. Some manufacturers will have wood. It does have the outside speakers. Optional alloy wheel package. It does have the 10 gallon water heater. A lot of a lot of campers will have a six gallon. It's a 10 gallon quick recovery. It does have the slide out awning package. The 20 to 22 foot large power awning. You do have the rear ladder, I think is an option with Sundance models. I do believe these came standard with 30 amp power. Uh, this one has the uh, 50 amp power, which means you can get the second air conditioner up top if you wanted it. And in some cases, even the washer and dryer option. Overall, the camper seems to be in great condition. Definitely well maintained. This does have the outside hot and cold shower. Your wet bay here, uh, this is uh, unique. Uh, not a lot of manufacturers will do this. Uh, all your dump valves are enclosed right here rather than having your dump valves underneath hanging by your hose, by your uh, dump valve, your, your pipes here. Normally they're hanging down here, but uh, uh, Heartland Sundance actually puts them in the heated cargo area. Satellite hookup, phone, they even give you black tank flush feature, 
which uh, washes out your sewer tank so you don't have to drag a hose up in the camper and shove it down the toilet. You just hook it up here and flushes out your sewer system. Uh, nice water filtration the owners bought for this. All the tires are new. I'll point that out here to you. The DOT on the tires is the 51st week of 2012. They're somewhat new. I believe they hardly have any miles on them. They're all good years. Nice ultra leather uh, rocker chairs. Booth dinette sleeps too. This is a super slide. It's about 12 foot long and about three foot deep. Nice etched glass. This does have the day night shades in the living room only. Uh, the bedroom has just night shades, but I did notice uh, one thing. It looks like uh, a Coke can might have exploded on somebody. There's a uh, staining that it looks like it should be able to come out. I'm just going to let the owners know they might want to just clean them. Uh, it, it looks like it's a pretty easy cleanup, but it only goes. Uh, to here another little spot there so it's just this awning or I'm sorry this uh, shade that shade and this shade just yeah it looks like a coke can exploded on somebody but all the other shades are fine eight cubic foot refrigerator I think standard on the Sundance models came with the six cubic foot but it's eight cubic foot with the raised wood paneling on the front Stove top and oven, uh, I believe they, they've never been used. This does have the solid wood uh, drawer fronts with steel ball bearing glides. Most main models won't have this, most of your fifth wheels. A lot of residential features. This does have the solid surface Corian style countertops, which is an option uh, on the Sundance models. Stainless steel stank sinks with a, a Moen style faucet. Most of your manufacturers will offer a laminated countertop, so it's a nice residential feature. Thirty-two inch Jensen TV with the uh, uh, Jensen home theater DVD stereo uh, MP3 ready all everything. So this is the second bedroom loft area.
that is an air mattress. The front folds down, or I'm sorry, the back rolls forward and uh, it airs up. Definitely sleep two adults on there easily. Nice double bed up here in the loft area. All your heat and your AC is all ducted throughout the coach. This camper weighs uh, right around 9,800 pounds. I think it's 90, uh, it's just a little bit over 9,800 pounds, so. Nice little area for your TV here. I do check around all the slide outs for any wrinkling in the wallpaper. Check for dark staining on the carpet or floors around the slide outs. Normally is a sign of water damage. I, I didn't find any issues. Nice little hidden door down in the cargo area. I guess if you want to put a laundry basket or something like that down there, you can. Nice foot flush porcelain toilet. Some of your manufacturers will give you a plastic toilet. I do check for soft spots around the floor, especially around any plumbing area like the toilets. Overall, 1 through 10, 10 being the best, I would definitely rate this as a 10. I think most dealers would agree. It's a good looking camper, been well maintained. If you're interested in the camper, just call the number on the ad. If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer any you may have. Hope you enjoyed the video.